Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. It's time to take a check of your latest local forecast and trail conditions. You can find this and much more on our website, WSKITV.com. And this weather brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Well, we're in for quite a day today. Uh, we've got about four or five inches of accumulation out there as of 7 a.m. this morning. So we'll see four to seven inches of snow. And then it's going to change over to rain. Could see an inch, inch and a half of rain. And then another one to three inches of snow uh, after the cold comes back in later today. But huge winds out there. Probably won't see many of the lifts running. Uh, Saturday, we'll see mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures drop like a rock today, uh, this afternoon. And as you can see, tomorrow, three to seven for your high at the uh, summit 15 to 19 for your high at the base and those winds don't look too bad but we'll see mostly cloudy skies for sunday we're looking at flurries high of 21 monday mostly sunny skies high of 22 and a chance of some snow showers for tuesday with a high of 24 so we'll come out of it groomers and snowmakers will be doing their magic uh to get things back in shape for christmas vacation week want to make note Bullwinkles is closed today. We're looking at pack powder. That'll change to wet snow and then some variable conditions. Who knows what to be out there? 63 trails to ski and ride on, according to Sugarloaf. And we're looking at Sawduster, Skidway, and Snubber. Uh, probably starting the morning on Windhold, as well as Double Runner East and the Super Quad and Skyline starting on Windhold as well. And Timberline most likely will not run today as gusts are forecasted to be over 100 miles an hour up there. Timberline, Tote Road, Bridal Chain, King's Landing, Hayburner, a bunch of trails were groomed. Not sure if you'll be able to get to them. They're going to try and keep the lower mountain open, so hopefully you can get to that. All the things, are, all the trails around the base area have been groomed out and some fresh snow falling on them as well. Snowmaking will return tonight, Friday night, and uphill travel uh, should be allowed throughout the day today. Just be aware of the signage. Maybe check the Super Quad sign there uh, with a the big map. They've got some notes there. And cross-country skiing is closed today. The Sugarloaf Outdoor Center is going to preserve their snow for today, but the retail shop is open if you want to get some holiday shopping done. Looking for some indoor activity, the Anti-Gravity Complex is a great place for that, as well as the Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center, located right down off of Mountainside Road. Hopefully you can take a shuttle down there. And don't forget... Tomorrow, Saturday, December 24th, is the Community Candlelight Christmas Eve service at the Richard Bell Chapel. It's always a great time. And we've got live shows. Uh, we won't have shows on Christmas morning, but we do have live shows every single morning except for Saturday morning. So be sure to tune in with live reports. We'll keep you updated on what's happening out on the hill. Check out our live quad cam streaming at WSKITV.com or on our YouTube channel so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and WSKITV.com. SKITV.com. We've got two YouTube channels, one that streams our live quad cam and one with our latest local content so you can know before you go.